Philadelphia Union are in Montreal trying to snap a winless streak at six. That includes two losses and four draws. They're also in a place where they've never won in Montreal. Three games played there, three losses. Today, they discuss a way to defeat the Montreal Impact. Philadelphia, not a lot of changes in the back four in the midfield, but you see the big changes are out wide up top with Fabinho and Danny Cruz looking to add some speed, put some pressure on Montreal's back four. And for Montreal, you'll see here number 99, Jack McInerney. He's listed on paper starting out wide in the left. Let's see where he plays to uh, form that relationship with Marco De Vaio. From Montreal. It's the first game they're playing at home on grass because of weather such as today. They were playing indoors at the Olympic Stadium on turf. And it makes a big difference to come back into the, the confines that you find you know, to be comfortable in your actual home stadium. So look for them to feel, be, feel really good about being back in Stad Saputo today. Trying to go to the outside. Kind of Bobrovsky. Here's Bernier. Let's it rip. It comes free to Felipe. That was a big rebound and Felipe scores. That all stemmed from there was good Philadelphia pressure. Nagara steps up, pressures the, the Montreal back to playing a bad ball wide. And it was a giveaway by Philip. We win the ball, Philip wins it, gives it away here in the middle. Someone's got to step to Bernier. It's too much time with a slick ball. It's, it's tough to hold. And I know Zach, like there you see his pressure, and wished he could have done better with that one, knows he should have done better with that one. But once we look at Philippe, just runs all the way through. Defenders stop. First one on the ball. But that's a gift goal. Yeah. The ball in a lot of ways. And the ball cannot be, yeah, there's that's, uh, a bunch of errors right there. The yeah. giveaway. Perkins sends it upfield. Giving right back to the Union. That's that's a simple ball that has to be, it's a pass that has to be connected. Whether it was a misunderstanding from Nagara and Cruz, or just Akugo not picking out the right guy, not sure, but those are the balls that you have to keep possession and go forward with. Vino, Winger, now Cruz, cutting it back. Cruz leads it for Winger in the box. Toe poke saved by Perkins. That was much better from the Union. Nearly had the equalizer. Started by Cruz, nearly finished by Winger. Away from him, Maurice Edu picks it up. Almost at the half hour mark. Fabinho, the dodge referee Toledo on that. Pushed in for Noguera, he gets it inside, Cruz! Saved by Perkins! And he'll pounce on it. The last five minutes now, a couple of good chances for the Union. Yeah, a couple of good chances, and, and Danny Cruz making things happen. A great little slip through by Vincent Noguera, and once again, Troy Perkins off his line early. Does well to come out, gets himself big, and gets fortunate, almost squeaked through his legs. But got big, gets there, and makes the save. Much better from Philadelphia, looking dangerous and, and giving this back four problems right now. Sent long by Montreal. It's cleared away by Kugel. Chipped ahead. Wenger, but three players are back from Montreal. Late run by Fabinho. And Noguera. Fabinho in the box. Leaves it. Noguera over the bar. Well, it was there for Noguera, whose first MLS goal came against this club at PPL Park. And that's much better from Philadelphia, guys. Making making runs off the ball, giving options for the ball carrier. Winger does a nice job to slip it through here. Cheeky little touch from Fabinho, and Noguera falling away from goal. Has a difficult time getting over that, and unfortunately puts it over the bar. But, but good way to start the half for Philadelphia offensively. McInerney. Turned away by Williams, the flick up field, given away. Too fancy there. Map, Devayo, Map. Off Devayo, Maurice Edu for Danny Cruz. And again, those turnovers. It's one of your keys to avoid in the second half. As you go from offense to defense in the blink of an eye. Yeah, this team can definitely counter quickly as they showed earlier. Nice ball up the middle, a chance there. Big save by McMath. But we robbed Jack McInerney. Otherwise, it's 2-0. It's a corner now. Yeah, good save by Zach. And once again, that, that came off not directly, but the turnover leads to 
a little possession. Jack finds a little seam in between the, the center backs and good save by Zach to get down low to his right. Let's map though what is best with that left foot, the penetrating ball. Yep, nice and quick, he felt the pressure coming. Just slides it through, but once again, there's movement off the ball. Much easier to play when there's movement off the ball. It's an impact corner on the end swinger. Two union players nearly running into each other on that attempted clearance, and now Williams got it forward as he went down. Malice from Montreal, outside of map. Well, you know what he wants to do, but now you have to stop him. Big stop there by McMath. It's too casual there in front. It has to be cleared out. Well, it's kind of tough one in between both guys. You want your keeper to come pick it up, but at the same time, there's there's pressure. Justin Mapp does, does really well just to get around Carroll. Solid shot, McMath. Handles it pretty easily, but, you know, once again, with that wet ball, you don't want to try to catch that. Yeah. Gives himself separation. There it is again. Not this is uh, Felipe breaking it up, sending it forward. McMath was coming out. That could have been game over. And that was Tissot, of all players, the left back. McMath does well to get it, get big, just close the angle down, make the goal look smaller. Tissot... Force him to go wide to that back post. Heavy collision. Bravery from McMath. Keeps the union in it. They, they want to find Connor Casey's feet, just, just not 50 yards from goal. They have a lot of trouble finding him because of the congestion from Montreal. At the top of that area, they can't find him on the ground. So he's looking for the ball. He's coming back. Maidana for Nogueira. Nogueira sends it in. There's an opportunity, but it's over the bar. Openo was in a good spot. Casey was there as well. Camera sends it the other way. Skyward. Did. Big collision right there at the halfway line. That might be it. That is it. Montreal will win their first game of the season in this their eighth try. They continue to be unbeaten in the stadium against the Union. They're now 4 0 and 0. You see the look of relief on. Frank Klobuchar's face and his sister Mauro Biello just thankful for the win and to get on the right track. But you know they absorbed pressure that half from Philadelphia. They did what they needed to do to come out with the result. They they got an early goal and then sat on it.